Colors do not matter in this game. Hi everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to play 3 up 3 down. Even though the title of the game is shown here on the top right corner, I do like the fact that the title shown right here on the front can be read upside down. This game comes with 84 cards and instructions. That's all there's to it. This is a very straightforward game. Trust me. I'm going to show you the cards first. Here's the back of the cards, by the way. And there are three different colors of red, blue, and green. Colors do not matter in this game. So if you do want to play a faster game, you may choose any one of the colors, or maybe two, and then remove them from the deck before you start playing. These are all very basic cards. You have your numbered cards of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You also have a clear card, a clear plus 1 card, and a clear plus 2 card. That's it. That's all the cards that you need to know. I'll go over the clear cards in just a bit. To set up the game, elect someone to be the dealer. The dealer shuffles the deck and deals three cards to each player face down. No player looks at any of these face down cards. Each player rearranges their face down cards in any order that they want, shown like this. Just remember, don't look. Then the dealer is going to deal out six more cards to each player. Each player can look at their own cards, just no one else's. Then each player is going to take three of the six cards from their hand and place them face up on top of the face down cards shown like this. This right here is your three up, three down pile. And the cards in your hand, well they stay in your hand. The dealer then puts the draw pile in the center of play for everyone to reach and then make room for a discard pile. The player left of the dealer goes first and turn order goes clockwise. Players can play any card on an empty discard pile. You can start with a clear card if you want to, but I recommend instead that you start with any numbered card. Each player must play cards to the discard pile from their hands that either equals to or is greater than the top card of the discard pile or play a clear card. For example, in my hand, I have this one. I can play this one to the discard pile because it matches with that one. I also have one of these threes that I can use because three is greater than one. You are allowed to play multiple cards on the same turn, but they have to match in value. For example, I can play a three on the discard pile shown, but I have another three in my hand. They both match in number. I can do that as well. When your turn is over, draw cards from the draw pile until you have three cards in your hand. There are instances that you're going to have more than three cards in your hand when your turn is over, and in that case, you don't draw cards from the draw pile. If the discard pile has a high valued card on top, such as this 10, then it starts getting dangerous because the only way to play on top of this is with another 10 or a clear card. If you can play, then you must. But what happens if you can't play on your turn? Tough luck! You have to take all the cards from the discard pile and add them to your hand and your turn is over. This is the instance that I mentioned earlier that you can't draw cards from the draw pile at the end of your turn because you're more than likely to have more than three cards in your hand after claiming cards from the discard pile. Now let's go over the clear cards. Whenever a clear card is played on top of the discard pile, take all the cards from the discard pile, including the clear card that was played, and remove them from the game. There are three different kinds. This one is a basic clear card. It does exactly what I just said a second ago. This is a clear plus one card. It does the same as a basic clear card, except that you take an extra turn after clearing the discard pile. And this clear plus two card gives you two extra turns after clearing the discard pile. 
there's one other way to clear the discard pile without the need to play a clear card. And that is you have to play three or more of the same valued card in a row, and it does not have to come from the same player. For example, player one plays a six, player two plays a six, and then player three plays a six. This clears the discard pile and the cards are removed from the game. Now I say three or more because sometimes a player is gonna have multiple copies of the same valued card. For example, player one plays a six, player two plays a six, but player three has two sixes. They can play both on their same turn on their same turn like this. This clears the discard pile and the cards are removed from the game. The game continues until the draw pile goes empty, and then simply all the players keep playing from their hands. On your turn, when the draw pile is gone and you have no cards left in your hand, you can start playing from your face-up pile in front of you. You cannot play any of your face-down cards until all three of your face-up cards are played first. And on your turn, if you can't play any of your face-up cards, take all the cards from the discard pile and add them to your hand and you can't play any more of your face-up cards until all the cards from your hand are played first. On your turn, with the draw pile gone, no cards in your hand, and all three of your face-up cards are gone and already played, all you have left now are your three face-down cards. This is the biggest gimmick of the game. Absolutely, nobody knows what's underneath all of these face-down cards. It's a complete mystery. On your turn, with only your three down cards left, you can only peek at one of your three cards. And if you can play it, go ahead. But if you can't, don't tell anybody what you saw, just keep it face down. But because you couldn't play on this turn, take all the cards from the discard pile and add them to your hand. And then you cannot play any of your face down cards until all the cards in your hand are played first. To win the game, you have to be the first player to play your final face down card. Go ahead and pause the video here on this page of the manual with the optional rules, which includes a point system. And that is how you play 3 up, 3 down. Even though I only have 2 thumbs instead of 3. Sorry. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus P. Gaming, for video game let's play content. I'll see you later, but until then, like always, take care.